What's up everybody, it's Sparrowwood again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Starbound. When we left off in the last episode, we upgraded quite a few things and managed to finally get to the snow planet because we had upgraded our EP to hold the heating pack stuff. Um, so the next step is going to be gathering more of the Durasteel and upgrading our final two machines as well as building a couple of things. Um, I didn't actually realize, but the compressor has been changed according to a couple of the comments that I got in the last episode, um, to where it does actually become like a hundred percent more efficient to where it's, um, like a one-to-one, -one, I guess. So it's kind of become a, a thing that is actually a viable thing to use. And the printer, I guess, is a way that you can print things that I've been scanning, like things that were um, of avian or glitch or whatever, but they don't show up in the building work table. Uh, so I guess that's one of the ways you can do that is through the pixel printer. So those are also things I'd like to look into. Um, but we also picked up some of this new ore, so I'm kind of curious how that's going to go. Let's go ahead and make what we can of that. I don't see any new uh, recipes triggering because of that. So there's that. I do have the amount of materials that I need to upgrade the apothecary as well as the foraging table. I really just have to get the Durasteel in order to do so. Uh, so there's that. And I'm still looking for upgrade modules and all that, but I think rather than boring you guys with all of the running around, I think I'm just going to run around on the planet that we have here. Because we were finding some Durasteel fairly easily in, um... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Uh... Ouchie, wow. Woo! Okay, no. Nope. Mm -mm. That ain't going to happen. Uh, yeah. So that's, um, that's interesting. That's, that's very interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Um, I kind of want to go down there just because it has a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm not really sure about that. So I'm basically going to endeavor to find some more Durasteel to where we can upgrade things and whatever. Um, I probably should be working on, now that the table here is done, I probably should be working on getting this stuff before we upgrade too much more so that we can actually take some of those hits. But um, yeah, like I said, let me go look for some Durasteel and I'll be back when I find something or if something interesting pops up. Okay, so I'm taking on a bit of a different strategy here with this. Homing rockets. <laughs> um, cause why actually stand there and get shot when you can just blow everybody else up like that? It's a little cheaty, but I honestly don't really care. Ow, ow, ow! Cause especially when they can do that. I'm wondering, though, why my sword's not hitting them at that range when they're right in there. Like that. Oh, there it goes. Wow, that only is doing 13 to them. That's insane. My sword has been doing so much better than that. Whoops. That didn't really do anything. Woo! Oh, another one down. That's how we do it! <laughs> That's funny. Don't leave me, take me home. Okay. Um, where exactly is home? Rescue mission. Is that who I have? No. That's not who I have, is it? No. I have some kind of... Hey, Lottle. 
person going on. Help current deliver. No, 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 no. Where is this person? My colleague's gone missing? Maybe that's it? Return. Yeah, okay. So that's the colleague. Okay. That was confusing because it wasn't really who I was looking at. Oh, in the bathroom. Alright, cool. So we did that. What did I get? Age of Salt Ore. Oh, that's not bad. It's like 15, so that was pretty cool. Now there's also this guy in here. I'm just gonna get rid of this, because that's annoying me. Uh, there's... Oh, dang! Not fair. Die. Not fair at all. Alright, so we're gonna kind of try and play this the same way. Like that. Whoops. Now, if I can keep him bouncing back, I shouldn't really have too much of a problem with this. Oh! Did you see that? Did you see that? That was awesome. Alright, so now I'm a little bit more free to roam about the planet. Did I, I did check these, right? Man, I need to get some of those going. Okay, now this one is right there. It's that guy right there. I'm kind of hoping... Oh, dang. Seriously? Freaking bird, get out of here. An accordion. That was not what I was expecting. Okay, I want you to make a good impression. Please help me do something that will knock Na Naomi's socks off. First, I need to plant one sugarcane, pineapple seed, water them. Yeah, 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 sure, why not? Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue my endeavors. We'll see how this goes. What is that? What is that little guy? What are you? What are you? If, if that's the thing that's glowing, I'm going to kind of freak out a little bit. More so than I did just there. Because that's adorable. He is! He's a little glowing dude! <laughs> Look at him! I wonder if I can capture him. I mean, he's small. No, that didn't work at all. Hmm. I don't want to hurt him. Well, we're gonna risk it. Uh, let's see. Maybe my handgun. Oh, is he like a bug? Nope, not a bug. Well. Oh, well. So, I ran across this person now, which is a customer, but it also. or a, a tradesman, or whatever. Whoops. But it also has a quest. Reserve, I'd like to explain, expand into new areas of retail. Will you help me? I first need to gather eight plant fiber. Done. Okay. The old friend is at a small underground bunker east of us. Trade the plant fiber with them for the goods I need. Well, I guess that gives us a bunker to go investigate. Oh, there's a chest there. I might have to investigate that first. I love this rocket launcher, by the way. Whoops. This thing is just absolutely incredibly amazing. <laughs> love it so much. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, a teleporter core and five AAA batteries. I will take that. Okay, so it was not actually far at all. It was right back here where we've been many times. Alright. Bonesmith's loincloth. Well. Actually, it's worse than what I have. That's kind of interesting. 
That's better. Wise man's thinking cap. Also better. Necrolix solar wrecker. Well, okay then. That's interesting. Uh, energy per shot. Damage per shot is 5. Rate of fire is 2. That's kind of interesting. Ah, well. Hey, wait a minute. Parcel for song heart. Oh, okay, it's a quest. I was like, where did I get this from? But it's for the... It's for the, um... I think that was a glitch person that we met that's the shop owner. I'm pretty sure. Are you naturally... Okay, so the things with the white face is, um... Woo! They're naturally aggressive. The things with the green face don't appear to be naturally aggressive. So that's that's something to think about. And these guys aren't either. That took me a minute to figure out, too. These guys are. I don't like them. They are not cool. Well, they are cool, but not in a cool way. Oh, come on. Woo! Ow. Alright. Sweet. Now what kind of a customer am I? Lancer's Greaves, Vine Door, Gold Chess Piece. 75, okay, so that's about the same as mine. Camo Helmet, that's awesome. Paladin's Greaves. Lancer's Greaves are actually a little better, it looks like. 15-10-10. Oh, one has more health, one has more offense. That's interesting. Okay. Either way, I don't really have the pixels to buy any of them, but that's still kind of interesting. What did I get here? Kallax Star Caller? Oh, it's another staff. Ice Rain is primary low gravity zone. Level 4. This is level 5. So that's kind of awesome. Not to mention it looks cooler. Alright, so I have an ice storm here. Oh good, I can't- I wasn't sure if I could attack NPCs or not. And the alternate is the low gravity zone. Ooh! Now that's rather interesting. Because for one, you could charge it up before you fall, I guess? And you could basically drop it. That would be kind of an interesting use. Alright, let's not play around with that right now. I hate that these guys can fly through the ground. Because it makes it very difficult to predict where they're going to be. Because normally you can kind of like see where they're going to end up. And just go with it. But when they go through the ground you're like, well, I'm not really sure. Oh, this is not good. This is way too open. That is a giant mallet! Generous, can I help you? I'm glad he's generous, because that is a huge hammer. Okay. So we've actually run across a glitch village, it would seem. Knight's Breastplate. Raw Tentacle. Gee, you shouldn't have... Crusader Helm. Ooh, that looks cool. Mercenary Breastplate. Oh, I am starving over here. There we go. Sometimes I've been getting that where it doesn't use all of the things. It's kind of weird. Now this one, these aren't as good, I don't think. No. Not by a long shot. Okay. Mysterious Greaves, Crusader Breastplate. So all these would be useful. Oh, 100%. That's kind of cool. Um, I would just have to find a better source of pixels because I don't actually have... Well, let's... Um, I can actually sell him some stuff. The accordion's worth three grand. That's worth a lot. It's only going to give me 720. Cheapskate. Uh, of course. But whatever. It's not like the one that I have isn't really 
worse. Ooh, upgrade module for the matter manipulator. I still need to find... Um... I still need to find the upgrade module. Actually, I may end up doing that in this episode. I might take a break from scavenging. Because I was actually told in the last comment you can go to, like, um... Smaller planets... Well, I call them smaller planets, but basically the ones that are uh, lower in difficulty, that kind of the first tier planets, and um, in doing so you can kind of just run along the surface until you find mine, uh, mines and things that usually have upgrade modules apparently. So I may actually do that this episode so that we can make some progress on our ship. But I wanted to see what all we could get out of these, because a lot of these places are where I've been finding my ore rather than mining. Ooh! Bass guitar. I think I have one of those already. So there is kind of that feature that you can basically go about doing. And I might drop to a planet that maybe isn't like a really super low tier or something, but I might drop to one that uh, tops out at Durasteel so that it's still within my armor class kind of thing, rather than trying to fight my way through on this kind of a planet where it's... Oh Yes! There it is! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Success! Are you a merchant? You are a merchant. Knights, boots... I think that's what I actually have right now. I do find it interesting the balancing they've done to the game, though. Um, in terms of... How do I put this? Like, I'm finding armor that's available to buy in shops. Ooh, what is this? Neo chest piece. That's kind of cool looking. I like it. Um, but I'm finding things that are available at shops and stuff that I can buy, but they're basically... It's, it's really balanced in a way that, like, when I find stuff I can afford, it's what I already have kind of thing. That's what I find interesting. Um, I'm just grabbing these codexes, but... I don't really care about all this right now. I mean, they have a giant library, though. I'm looking for stuff. You got any more stuff? Or is it all library stuff? Ooh, what is this? A spear, 31.9, and flurry is its special attack. Uh, you know what? Let's put that over here, maybe. Because this is a weapon I've just gotten from this planet, so I imagine, like, 31. I don't know what that one's doing, but that's 24. My rocket launcher's 30. So, I imagine this would actually be a pretty heavy-hitting weapon. So I probably should be using it right now. Two-handed 27, 1.2 flying slash. That sounds awesome. Or this. I think I'm close to the edge of the town. Oh, I can't get through there. I was looking at my um, hotbar trying to find my flashlight. More upgrade chips. Those are always welcome. Craftsman shirt. Why not? Oh, that's messed up. Hey, we got chicken. Woohoo! Alright, I think we're about... Well, maybe not. Good gravy. Camo trousers. Lancer's breastplate. Knight's helm. That's cool. Voyager's helmet. So a lot of these... But yeah, I find that interesting how they balanced all that. That like when you're finding things you could afford, it's basically what you already have. Or the tier you can already craft. And then when you're finding things that you could, 
potentially use to improve yourself, that's the stuff that you're like, man, that's a lot of pixels. I don't really have that right at the moment. So it's an interesting way to do it. Alright, I think we're at the end of the town. Was that? Okay, that was just natural lighting. Um, one thing I want to try before we head off, though... 27 and 1.2. This is 31. So we have... Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a press and hold. So you can either click the button, or you can hold and it's special as that. That's kind of useful, actually. This one's a bit wider. Oh, it's a projectile. That's tough. That's a tough one. I might keep both of those, actually, but I think I'm going to leave the spear equipped. Where did it go? There it is. I think I might leave that one equipped, because I really like that... Um, I really like that flurry move. That's kind of cool. Ow. Like, for example, if I can draw these guys in... I mean, then you run out of juice, but... That's, that's, that's kind of useful, though. That could be pretty cool. But, let's head back to the ship! Oh, actually, I need to go to... I need to go to the... Shop, don't I? I haven't done this in a minute, so I don't actually remember how I upgrade my ship. I think it's this way. Because I think I can buy a license, but I actually have to buy it, I think. No, I'm not. Wait, I thought I was supposed to talk to him. Penguin Pete's vehicle lot. Maybe it's Sale. Do I talk to Sale? I have enough? Oh, wait a minute. I actually don't have them on me. That's probably the missing ingredient. Okay, let's see real quick before if I have to talk to her or not. Missions, weapon testing, re-challenge. Okay, so weapon testing is the only one that we have at the moment. Crew, nah, whatever. So I'm pretty sure I have to talk to him, but I probably needed to have all six on me. I think? Maybe? Or it's in a menu somewhere. I haven't, I haven't quite figured that out yet. Yeah, there it is. So I need them all on me. Once, one ship upgrade coming up. Alright, let's see what we get. I'm excited! Boom! Dang! Okay, that was totally worth six upgrades. Holy crap! I mean... That's a lot of upgrades. Oh, no, I didn't mean to break that. I meant to break that. I can't break that stuff. Oh, you can break the back! Okay, that's something to remember. Don't do that. Uh, where'd that light go? There it is. Uh, trying to. Oh, it, I'll line it up with this one. There we go. Alrighty, that's pretty darn cool. I'm excited about that one. So the next thing on my list is pretty much Durasteel. That's that's all I really care about at the moment. So I think I'm gonna go to a lesser planet that's not quite so dangerous at the moment and see if I can gather up the Durasteel that we need. So, I arrived on this planet. Let's get rid of these cat ghost things, which I have no idea what they are. Um, and I thought I'd been here before, and I went le- I had been here before, actually, because I went, uh, this is where I dug my tunnel, which found most of my Durasteel from before. Um, but I went left, and right away I ran into this place, and I was like, well, this looks interesting. What goes down here? Um, actually, this does give off a pretty good amount of light. So I come down here and I found these uh, cat ghost things that attacked me. 
I already found Durasteel and more upgrade modules and stuff, so I mean, this is a good spot. Unlocks the Stun Glove? What is that? Uh, that's gonna require investigation. Ooh, chess pieces, that's fun. Scan everything. I wish it would do one of those where, like, because I've kind of... The music's interesting here, too. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, keep the Durasteel coming. No mining for me. Uh, let's scan those. I want the, I want the treasure pile. Uh, let's see, though. What was I saying? Yeah, like, there's some... Whoa! Whoa! Be gone. Be gone. Yeah, I thought I'd been through all of this stuff, but I guess I had not. Eh, this doesn't look like anything. I really want to go over here, though. Ooh, what are you? One-handed, 12 at 1.5. Meh, I mean, I'll sell it, but it's not really all that good. Or Durasteel. But yeah, it's kind of one of those why go mining when you can go exploring. What is that? Looks like a mix between an Anubis and a snake. It's creepy looking. Seriously, though. No idea this was even down here. Ooh, gravity augment. Slowing your descent in the air. That's pretty cool. Another module upgrade. Uh, ooh, yes, please. Okay. Um, in the interest of time, I'm going to keep exploring a little bit, and if something really stands out to me, then I'll come back. Um, but I kind of want to finish this exploration here, but I'm running pretty low on time, so I'm going to kind of cut some of this. Okay, so I kind of went to a couple more places. Uh, nothing too fancy. I think I ended up back at the glitch castle that we had run into before. Um, I found a top hat, as you can see, which is kind of interesting. Um, and I have 21... Uh, let's see, yeah, 21 Durasteel ingots, which is just enough to make all of our armor. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I was hoping to find a little bit more so that I could actually do upgrades on my, uh, um, stations and things, like get more stuff. Um, but I just wasn't finding any more and I didn't really want to waste any more time on this episode because we were kind of at the tail end of it. Uh, where's my leather? There it is. So, you know, I kind of wanted to just wrap things up and get it uh, taken care of. So our next episode, now that we have better armor, our weapons have been doing okay, but our armor needed an upgrade. Um, so, ooh, I ran that pretty close to the wire. Let's see, there's an energy boost module, gravity module, and swimming speed module, which I had picked up along the way. Okay, uh, let's see. Can I get rid of any of this stuff? I can get rid of this, which is a craftsman shirt. Don't really need that. And we'll go ahead and put, this is another set of gear, except for the pioneer. Well, yeah, that is actually all the same gear. Okay. Um, I need to make a, another station for that one, I guess. So, we'll take the Neo Chess thing off and the top hat off for now. And where's my pants? Pants. Where are you? If I were pants, where would I be? Oh! Huh! I didn't have any inventory space, so they didn't pick up. That's funny. Okay. So, technically, this is how we look without any cosmetics on. And then I put my hunter's knife back on the back. 
I'll probably leave the top hat off for now. Actually, I'll probably leave all of this off for now. Um, I'll actually put all of this away. I did kind of like the top hat, though. That was kind of funny. Uh, the bandana was a cool one as well. I did pick up another staff, but it's a level 4, and it's ice orb instead of rain. I don't know what the difference is. And we got some other weapons and things that I'll probably end up selling. But overall, yeah. So now that we have better armor, the next step is probably going to be... Uh, next episode, I'll probably do the weapons testing uh, facility. I don't think I want to do that right away because... Um, well, you know what? Screw it. I think it's just a boss fight like the penguin one. I don't think it's actually a... Um, like a full-on adventure mode kind of thing like the other quests are in the game. So, you know, why not? Because I'm pretty sure I did this one already, and I... It's, yeah, you just kind of walk into a boss fight. The Super Shocker. Which I didn't have my rocket launcher before. Or my... Or my sword. And truth be told, I didn't actually know some of what I know, like this kind of tricks. Which doesn't always work, apparently. Oh crap. But like this one, you could just sit up here and not have a problem. Come here. Oh dang. Didn't expect that one. Oh. Ouchie wella. Okay, so I really want to take advantage of ow, that um that punch. Because I can just sit here and wail on him with my sword. Except he goes right into that move. Okay, so he does another missile round. Ow. Actually, you know what? I need to find a better spot where this doesn't actually hurt me. I'm using a lot of these bandages. Oh, I can't make bandages in my standard crafting window. I forgot. That stinks. Okay, with those missiles, you need to go down. That's what I'm finding with that. Oh, dang! He did two that time. That's not fair. Okay, so he might be a little bit more than we can handle at the moment. Undecided at this point. I wonder... I can't drop beneath that, which kind of stinks. Flamethrower is kind of nasty. And I can't seem to clear that, which kind of stinks. Okay, I'm still not really sure how I'm supposed to manage this one. This doesn't seem like too bad of a strategy, though. Like, kind of just... shifting a little bit. Actually, truth be told, now that I'm kind of looking at this, and I'm watching his pattern a bit, that's really the only one I need to get off the wall for. But the rest of this... Yeah, that's a good way to do it. That is a good way to do it. Let me craft a few of these. That really didn't give me much time, did it? Okay, this spot right there 
seems to work okay. Um, oh crap, crap. Alright, screw it. Crap, I'm aiming all over the place. Okay, now once we get into our little spot here, which I think is right there. I'm gonna turn this off for a second and grab these. Put them in there. Are you gonna do you're gonna do missiles? Yep. And up. Nope. Alright, now we're getting there. Alright, so we're pretty good. We're pretty good on this. I think we got it. So I am liking that all of these boss fights, I really think if you practice them enough and you really tried them kind of thing, I, I'm pretty darn sure that most of these could be done um, without taking damage at all kind of thing. That's kind of what I think. I think I could get that running a little better. I'm going to build the shop Shock Hopper Mark II. Please don't. Um. Okay. Now that... Let's see, that was a penguin mission, I think. So let's go talk to him down here. Yeah, it was this guy. You destroyed my supplier's weapon. Fantastic! Biggie's reputable weaponry is now back in business. Come here every day to see what's new. Ooh, a molten boomerang. That sounds so much fun. Neo Chakram. Upgrade module, Chakram, Stick of Ram. Ooh, those sound so fun. What do we get, anyway? A tech card. And mech blueprints? Sweet. All right, so we're gonna wrap things up here for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.